Welcome today to the other end of the workshop because, well, the other other end's still covered in diesel heaters and bits of things, so I've cleared a space here on the small workbench to talk about this uh, CCTV camera that SimCan sent us. While I open this, I will tell you the story behind why we've actually got this. So, a few weeks ago, well, it might have been last week for me, I don't know, it depends when you watch this video when it was for you, it might not have even happened yet if you're watching this in the past. So, as you know, I've got a few uh, Natatmo security cameras. Uh, and one day I came back from a cycle and usually my phone pings to tell me I've set off, uh, you know, all the CCTV cameras. They're all going, ha, there is a person. They didn't do that. They didn't make any noise. I didn't really think much of it at the time. But upon entering the house and turning the computer on, I found out that Natatmo had stopped. Uh, their whole cloud service had uh, had uh, had a glitch or an error or something, and the servers had all stopped working. Which brings us to an important point about uh, cloud-based uh, things. If the cloud stops, uh, all the things stop, and they did. So my, none of my Natatmo cameras. I couldn't view. I couldn't view them. I couldn't do it. Couldn't view footage or anything like that. The heating couldn't adjust any of that stuff. Granted, it was only offline for a few hours, but it did bring me to think about what happens if it all goes wrong. Now, talking that whether it's pure coincidence or not, or they saw an advantage. I think it was like either the same day or the next day. Simcam uh, sent me an email and said, "We've got this." A camera here, we see you've done, done a few videos on them, etc. Do you want a camera to have a look at? And I said yes. Actually, they didn't even say I had to make a video on it, they just asked if I wanted one to try. So, I was, well, this is me opening the box the first time, I haven't used it or tried or even looked at it uh, before now. So here we are. Uh, so yeah, so that's, I, I said yes, because because uh, Natatmo stopped working. Had Natatmo not been not working at the time, I probably wouldn't have bothered to say yes. I would have said, no thanks, I've got enough CCTV cameras now, I don't really need any more. But with Natamo stopping, uh, it made me think about cloud-based uh, security and, well, you're entirely dependent on the cloud. This goes, of course, for not just Natamo, but could come out, please. Uh, any of your cloud-based subscription-y things, uh, CCTV things like Hive and Ring, etc., etc. For the love of God, come out of the box. Oh, it's a bit of a tight fit. Come on, the fucking... There we go. Anyway, so that's that's why we're doing this video, is because uh, Natat will stop working for a few hours, and I decided that's probably a good enough reason to look at other cameras which aren't cloud-based or things. Yeah. Okay, so that's a mount. That looks like a bag of screws. Is there anything else in there? Nope. And electricity, hopefully. I don't like it. <sighs> Electricity. And what's this? Uh, sticky pad. And, and, whatever it was fell at the bottom of the box. <sighs> Don't make me get long those pliers at the drawer, honestly. Do not make me get long those pliers at the drawer. Right. <clears throat> oh, it's um, a base mount. Yes, like a sticky, you know, your sticky pad goes on the back and you stick that to a something. Right, is there anything else in this box? Isn't that just rubbish? Nope, it's empty. Right. What was in the box, if you ask? Uh, well, the camera, some instructions. Let me just put this on the floor. Bye. Uh, camera, instructions, sticky pad, base, a uh, metal mountain base, some screws, and a power adapter. And the outside of the box. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't actually looked in to see what, oh, what it all this does. So what we got, uh, person detection, facial recognition, car detection, pet detection, and object tracking. Keep tabs on only the people and things you truly care with on-device AI vision. Never miss out on events and frame with 10 times computing power. Voice-free AI home automation and everything you have expecting for a smart home security camera. Okay, and it's made in Wuhan, China. This one's black. No false alerts, no detection miss out, no subscription free, no privacy concerns. Alrighty then. I've got my laptop and my phone here just in case I can actually use a web-based interface, which would be nice. 
as much as I like using the phone apps, it's sometimes nice to just sit on the front, oh, you know, uh, if you're at the computer, to uh, use the computer to look, to look at your things. So, I I'm, why do people chastise me for saying things like it's got a good weight to it? Right, so the other small cameras I have about this size are the Yi cams or the Y cams. I think we fuck all, they essentially weigh nothing. This is this has got a little bit of a heft to it. I don't know the exact weight, but it's there's there's some meat in there. Hopefully it's not like Beats headphones where they just add in all the extra metal to make you pick them up and go, wow, these feel heavy, it must be quality. They're actually full of bits of lead to make you think that it's uh, quality, and it's not, it's just uh, heavy weights. Right, so on the camera here, so this is the, I'm gonna presume this is the mounting hole for the bracketry. Goes in there and screw up through the bottom. <laughs> Excuse me, you heard me. So that would give you a wall mount of like that, uh, and and yeah, and then well, there's a bit of plastic on the front of the thing. Well, I suppose what I should do is plug it to the fuck in and turn it on and see what happens. Okay, well that's easy. The first thing I don't like is that it's got an actual power plug. What do I mean I don't like it? Well, you've got this much wire, and that's it. If, if your electrical power source is further away than, you know, if this plug point is further away than where you want to put the camera, you're fucked. Granted, yes, I could cut this wire and make the wire longer, granted, but your average household Joe isn't going to be able to do that. Now, if this was a micro, USB, not that we're really using micro USB anymore. If this was USB C, you could just go and buy a big long USB C extension cable and as long as you want, basically. I know there are maximum specifications for cable length, but you are pretty much a, uh, you know, as long as you want with the USB C cable. How long is this? It looks pretty long. Duh, 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 duh. Once I've tied it and I untied it from it's not. How did they do it? How? How do cables do this? How have they got this? the inability to tie knots themselves. How people, oh really, I'm, oh, I'm gonna speed this clip up once I've, okay. One, two, two and a half meters, two, two and a half meters of electricity. Right, I'm gonna go and plug this in. Oh no, here's a plug. Uh, can't reach. One plug. Oh, let's plug it in. Hopefully it's plugging it in the other end. All right. Put that back on the floor. Take the electricity and back in list. Right, using the power on, locate the power port on the bottom of the camera, plug in and turn on the power. Go on, plug in then. Ooh, it's rubbery. Uh, what? Is that the right? There is only that hole. That's that's it. That's the only power hole there is. It is a tight fit, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tight fit. Ah! Ah! It's alive! Okay, so this appears to be a pan tilt zoom camera then. That maybe should have warned me in the box that that was a thing. Ah! It is alive. Ah! What is it doing? Hold still. All right, power on. Status light will flash. Download the SimCam app. Okay. Let's go to the old googly place though. SimCam. SimCam. It's loud. It's not quiet. Well, it's just a 65 meg this app is. 65 meg. Holy hell. We're in the workshop uh, Wi-Fi, which is uh, a bit slow because it's far away from the house. Right, go on then. Open. Open. Right. Uh, yes, allow the files to access a thing. Oh, I have to sign up for a thing? Oh, come on. Wait, I've pressed sign up. Wow, successfully registered. Great. Can I sign in now, please? Yay! Right, save the password. Right. Add a new camera. Huh? 
No, I want, I want I'll, I'll try help. Okay. Add a new camera. Pulsing green. Something's. Please wait for 15 seconds. Power on camera till the LED on the front device begins pulsing green. Is it? LED light is not pulsing. Press and hold reset for five seconds. Where's reset? Use a needle. Use a needle. Aye, oh, because I'm sitting surrounded by needles. Oh. oh, wait. You have to take off the... Is there a needle? Oh, there's a reset thing in the box, but you need a little teeny tiny Allen key to open the thing. Oh, there is one in the box. Never mind. Hold on. Let's get this whole thing. Okay. Don't lose that. You'll need that. Right. Open the back flap. Open the flap. It's going well so far, folks. So just uh, talk amongst yourselves while I reset the camera. None of these buttons feel like buttons, if I'm honest. Oh, I've got a green flashing LED! Can anybody see a green flashing LED? Open. Reset complete. Next. Please enter your home Wi-Fi account. Oh, yeah. Only well, uh, uh, we are in the workshop. So is the workshop's Wi-Fi password. Yeah, right, next. Oh. Point the QR code. Just the distance between the... Is that it? Is it doing it? I pointed the code at the camera. Eh... Uh, not entirely sure that it. Nope! Let's, let's try that again, right? Oh, for the love of God! Hey, hey. connecting Wi-Fi, please wait a minute. So, it's it takes a minute or two to uh, scan the code. It's not that fast. I mean, I'm just using a phone, it goes doot and scans it just about instantly. Right, next. It says it's connecting the Wi-Fi. Or it said it was connecting. I mean, I'm connected. So just uh, amuse yourselves here, folks, while it says it was said it was connecting. <whistles> I'm never connected. So. Oh, hello. Did it work? I've got no. I have no idea what it's doing, folks. It is spinning around like a mad thing. It stopped flashing. It's still... Still not found the camera. It's, this is going well so far. Oh, right, let's... I was going to say let's try that again, but... Is a, is a green light flashing? Now I've got a red light. Now I've got a green light. What the fuck is it doing? I swear to God. Okay, let's reset it again. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of this. Connecting Wi-Fi. Please wait for a minute. Connecting Wi-Fi. Please wait for a minute. I don't know if it means in like an, an actual legit minute. Like 60 seconds, should I've started a timer. I've got a solid green LED at the moment. I don't know what that means, it's not said it's connected. Blah blah blah, open the app. Point the thing. Uh, it says it'll go solid blue when it's connected to Wi-Fi. Connection succeeded. Oh, connection succeeded? <gasps> 
I've got a blue LED now. Can you see the blue LED? Woohoo! Next step. Should I press refresh now on the phone and see if I actually... Oh! One camera! Can we see? Have we got live data? Oh, I do. I've got live data. Look at that. Oh, wait. Great. Can I, can I see it? Can, can, you, can you go big? Go big. Cameras. Detecting. Land mode. Settings. Go full screen. Yes. Yes. Hey! Oh, it moves. Wait, let me put that back a bit. Can you see? Can you see the camera and me doing the thing at the same time? Does it go up and down? Oh, it just goes side to side. Oh. So it's not pan, tilt, zoom, it's pan. Does it do zoom? Does that, is, is zoom a thing? Can it? Oh, it can, it can zoom, but it's digital zoom. But hey, that's not, that's not terrible. Okay. Getting it connected is a bit of a dick about. Uh, go the other way. All right, so that, that works mostly. Uh, I'm going to guess that's object detection. Focus on object monitoring. The highlighted object frame notice the video record when the object moves or disappears. Uh, you mean like that? Is that? Can that be in shot? Like if I put it right there. Okay. Can I draw a box round? I'm drawing a box round that thing there. Okay. So there's no box round it. So if this thing moves, I think, will it track it though? Will it? I've no idea what it's doing. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's not exactly intuitive. Are there any more instructions? Oh, test, blah, blah, means adapter, Wi-Fi, we just managed to go all that. Returns, warranty. Wait, can I actually? Can I access this from anything other than my phone? If not, that's that's not going to do it for me, if I'm honest. You know what? I'm going to go onto the website and see if I can find out any more about this said camera. How do you get out of this? What's in settings? Well, it's got a name, that's good. Encoding format, H265, excellent. Uh, blank that bit so nobody can see what I'm typing, that's fine. Oh, there's the AI detection. Person de oh, you can turn them on and off. Person detection, pet detection, vehicle detection, show detection area. So pretty much like the Natatmo then, which has got person. The only one the outdoor Natatmo cameras doesn't have is facial recognition on the outdoor camera. The indoor cameras have it. Right, why is... What? Ah, okay, I can... Right, you could put your own face in or other people's faces. Well, that's fair enough. Okay, right. That's not too terrible. Anyway, right, uh, let me just go on the SimCam website till we have a little chat about what it is actually doing. Right. I wanted, I'm, I'm not even sure if there's a wife, is there a, is there an SD card in? There is an SD card in there, okay. So it comes with an SD card. At least this one did. Uh, Simcam, is that their website? Go on in. Let me just close all these other tabs. Uh, eh, uh, oh, oh firmware update. Is there any updates? Go, check. No, it's got the newest one. NAS hard drive configuration? All oh, right, okay, so it's got, you can, it is FTP, so you'll be able to FTP or a direct NAS connection to save stuff uh, locally. And if that was also can do this, you can set up FTP to your local uh, thing. Yes, SimCam, that's the one, right, okay. 
because I'm sure there's other things about this camera that I have neglected to mention. Like, can it go outdoors? Is that a thing? I mean, it looks. It's got rubber bits over the power and the back doors. It's a good seal on it. And, oh, it helps if I press the website to go to it. Uh, video pool failed, please try again later. Uh, it's still connected, as far as I know. Unless it has recorded anything. Camera is connecting. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the SimCam uh, website. Oh, we got PC editor's choice, great, tech hive editor's choice, SimCam, AI, blah blah. So, it's, like, it's got all these great features. Person detection, facial recognition, card detection, pet, AI home automation, all these great things. Connects with Amazon, Google Assistant, if this, if this, then that. AI stuff, person detection, facial rec, look at all these brilliant things. Got AI event recording, continuous recording. All process, look, look at those accuracy numbers, wow, they don't, they, they don't look made up at all. 360 degree person tracking, AI, home automation, wow, starlight, night vision, the only camera without an audience. Now, I remember when they sent the first email, I went on this website, and they had a comparison between their cameras, uh, Natatmo, and I can't remember if it was a Hive, but they were, the thing they're pushing is that it's all on camera processing, and they said that the Natatmo didn't do that. Which isn't strictly true. The outdoor Natamos don't have facial recognition. They just have object recognition, which is cars, people, and animals. So that's not really a concern. The indoor camera that has facial recognition on the Natamo is built into the camera. All of the facial recognition data is stored on the SD card, and it warns you of this, that if you remove the SD card or format it, you will lose all of your facial recognition data. So for the Tatmo, the facial recognition data was not stored on the cloud. It is not processed there. It is processed in the camera. So that, that part of the website appears to have disappeared now, because it was wrong. And it's pretty much, at this point, like every other... Um, camera that I've got that does all these things apart from the facial recognition and outdoorness uh, also somewhere it's it's IP mm, is it 65 or 55 anyway it's it's waterproof enough they can go outside in the rain but can't be dunked in a bucket of water or submerged up to a depth it's just you know normal outside waterproof raininess uh, but yeah all these things are great the only problem is the camera resets every well, right, well, it appears to be randomly, or it's every few minutes. Mine is currently sitting here in front of me, uh, in the workshop, on, on my desk, and every now and again, it'll just restart. It'll turn itself off, start spinning around forwards and backwards, and then reconnect to the Wi-Fi, but randomly. So, all of these things are fucking useless if your camera does not stay on and work. So, sorry, this is... Uh, it's a shame, because this is a really nice website, and it should be, you know, a really... Really powerful camera for a really good price. Wait a minute, where's the price gone? Ugh, it's down here somewhere. From $129. I mean, that is a cheap price for this camera and all the things it does. But, well, it's not a great price if it doesn't work. Like, if I'd bought this camera... No, worse still. If I'd bought this camera and got to the effort of putting it up outside and, you know, drilling holes, putting screws in, mounting it all up, and then realised that it reset every two minutes... Oh man, I would be so pissed off. But thankfully I tested it beforehand, and I would say to anyone, if, if you do buy this camera, eh, try it out first. Sit it on your desk, have it in your hand, let it sit and see if it actually does what it's supposed to do. Uh, I also don't like that I can't access it via an app or the web browser. I can only access it via the app on my phone, which I don't really like doing, I actually like being, like here in a browser, I can go in the Tatmo and look at the cameras and, you know, edit their settings and draw things, it's much easier to do it on a real computer, I know, but everybody uses phones nowadays, blah blah, yeah, well I don't, yeah, so there's that, so yeah, looked great, uh, should have done lots of things, but it's not worth a fuck because it restarts every every few minutes, so that's, that's the end of that then. Real time streaming... It just fucking reset!
we're doing, I, was, I was browsing the internet and it's restarted. So, what, what, um, well, we've been on the website and we've looked at all the pretty things that it says it's supposed to do. Do you want to know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to fire it in the fucking trash. So, as I've been sitting here, dicking about on my phone, scrolling the camera backwards and forwards and pissing about with it, what it's done is reset about 10 times. I thought maybe because I was trying to connect to its uh, RSTP server, but that, that, that was it, just reconnecting the Wi-Fi. Oh. Well, let's see, as I've been sitting here playing with it, there it goes, it's fucking restarted again. So long and short of it, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this in the box and then fuck it straight in the bin. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't buy one.